previously on the amazing spider-man the anti-mutant organization orchis had developed faulty crack one medicines and it affected many people's mind who took those medicines it drove them insane and they started killing each other and among them was anna watson mary jane's aunt so peter and mj locked anna in the ravencroft institute for criminally insane and after develop a cure peter injected that into anna's body and reverts back to her normal self but getting her out legally seemed to be difficult so in the meantime anna has made herself at home in the ravencroft she is even taking care of other inmates and among her new friend is william baker also known as sandman so while visiting anna peter meets with william and it seems he turns himself in to keep his evil self flint marco at bay but when peter reveals himself as a friend of spider-man marco took control but the power dampener device puts him down so before peter could leave william begs peter to warn spider-man that the sinister six are planning to burst him out from this prison they want sandman back welcome to comics tube youtube channel in today's video, we will review Chapter 46 of The Amazing Spider-Man. You can get the previous parts on this playlist. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by its suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up in a secret hideout where the members of the Sinister Six are making a plan to break into the Ravencroft and free Sandman. Some of them want him back, others are against it. So Doc Ock shut them up. A member of this team is in prison and it is their job to free their friend. So he orders Electro to break into Ravencroft and rescue Sandman by any means necessary. On the other side, Peter leaves his apartment. There are a lot of things going on in his mind. Sandman gave him plenty of reason to be. When he met him at Ravencroft, he warned him about the Sinister Six. But Peter is not worried about that. As tonight, someone else is coming with Peter, the girl who broke his heart. And while thinking about MJ, Peter is visited by Michelle, Tombstone's lawyer. As recently, Peter met with her in a date night regarding Janice and Randy's relation as their marriage broke up due to the gang war event. And tonight is Peter and Michelle's date, which Peter completely forgot. Michelle had so much expectations from Peter, but he let her down. So the beast of Michelle takes a leave and also reminds Peter that he is a complete psychopath and this entire situation is being watched by Peter's ex-girlfriend Mary Jane, also known as Jackpot. The two arrive at Ravencroft and while sitting on a rooftop, MJ asks Peter about Michelle and their dating. So Peter replies, he really doesn't know. After all the traumas, Benjamin Rabin, Goblin Sins, broke up with Felicia. He is really confused. So MJ tells Peter, she wants him to be happy. To be honest, it's taking a little longer than he thought it would. After breaking up with MJ, it's making him difficult to move on. So MJ says, same thing happened to her. It took her a really long time too. And now the two of them are working together and it makes things weird. So Peter says, it isn't. They are fighting crime. It's her life now too. Nothing weird at all, except for the clothes and the made up names. Meanwhile, inside the Ravencroft, Aunt Anna is doing great. She is helping the inmates, including William Baker, with the help of Nurse Markin. Everyone is happy to have Anna by their side. They also make her the mayor of Ravencroft. But while talking with the prisoners, all the lights inside the prison start to break. The alarms went out. Peter and MJ sees the danger. A huge surge of lightning coming from a direction. And it is Electro. He begins to consume all the electricity. But right at the time, Spidey webs him up with his insulated web. But Electro tells him that's an old tree. And he uses his powers to overload the motor neurons in his muscle and freeze himself. So MJ steps in, she dials her jackpot powers and jumps on Electro. On the other side, as the system gets fried, all the prisoners become free from their cell. Aunt Anna tries to convince them that what they are doing is wrong. They can't leave. But the prisoners tell her they are the bad guys. And this is just how it works. Meanwhile, both MJ and Peter are trying their best to hold Electro off. But nothing is working. With his immense electricity, Electro tries to kill MJ. But Peter quickly saves her, just like the old times.
Electro leaves the door and he arrives in front of William. He knew Electro will come for him. He asks him why can't they leave him alone? All he is trying to get better in life. But Electro tells him to stop this nonsense and come with him. So William reminds Electro he is not Flint Marco. He is William Baker and he is not like them. He is not a criminal and it pieces off Electro. He proceeds to take his life. But then he gets hit in the head with a flower pot. Anna wants Electro to stay back. William is her friend but Electro has had enough. He raises his hand and proceeds to fry her face. But before he can do that, all the prisoners jump in to save their precious mayor. They all stand before Anna and he drives Electro mad. But today is not his lucky day. He gets hit with an energy ball. MJ and Peter are also show up and this time the couple gets hit by all the inmates of the Ravencroft and they begin to smash Electro from all the sides. Finally, the hippo takes him out and the cops sent Electro to the raft as he is too dangerous to stay in Ravencroft. The inmates gave Anna credit for stopping the escape and Anna come home early because of her good behavior. Sandman is safe and continues his treatment in the Ravencroft. But in case of Peter and MJ, they are still in a weird situation. Together, they make a great team, just like their alternate counterparts in Renew Your Vows and Peter likes to do it again. But MJ refuses as she prefers Paul over Peter and it breaks Peter again. On the other side, Nurse Markin is talking with William and she is glad that William is doing great. But it seems for quite some days he can't hear Marco's voice in his mind and William fears something is wrong. So he decides to find out what it is and he breaks him out from the Ravencroft and on his way he also frees Electro. The flower pot that William gave Anna also disappears in the air and now Sandman brings Electro into their hideout and it seems Doc Ock has a plan for the Sinister Six to get back their victories and kill Spider-Man once and for all. And with that, the chapter 46 of The Amazing Spider-Man comes to a close. So which part you like the most? Please share them on the comment section down below. And please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more content. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.